everyone and welcome back to our brand new Let's Play world. I asked some name suggestions to our little town and I picked one of the most popular. So, welcome to Blossom Valley. So the name kind of comes from the spore blossoms we have around here, but I think I want to incorporate it more than that. Because we've got these of course, but we also have this pink blossom texture pack. So, I was thinking we might as well make a giant cherry blossom tree. Maybe that can be the namesake. But that's kind of getting ahead of ourselves because I've got completely different plans for today. I found something really cool. Let me show you. Ta-da! It's right here, but it's on a different Y level. And I just realized we have a floating tree. No thank you. Goodbye tree. So to show you what we have, we've got to dig right down to deep slate level. I think it's like negative 36. Oh, coal. I'll take that. Okay, I think the level's right, I just don't know exactly where it is. I did take notice of the direction and then I just forgot. Okay, I found it! It's a spawner. It's a scaly one. You probably guessed it was a spawner though, I haven't actually got the loot out yet. Oh, which disc is this? C for... Uh, it's not cat. It's the bad one. Wait a sec, did anyone think I'd found the deep dark? Because I haven't found the deep dark yet, I'm sorry. One day. Oh, we've got golden horse armor. Uh, I can't take all this at once. But the plan here is to basically make an early game XP farm. So we're going to use a tutorial by Cayman and we're going to start by just clearing this room. We've got to make it a couple of blocks wider on every side. Okay, we've done a lot of digging. So this is the spawner room so far and the skeletons will end up in here. And then this is a little killing room. So either side of the skeleton bit, we've got these little open areas and I want these to be windows. The issue with that is that we need stained glass and I haven't found an amethyst. We can try to find one though. I was thinking if we go to the ocean there might be an exposed one. Oh yeah, and we currently don't have a way out. This is our way in. The fastest way would be a bubble lift, but I think for now we'll just make ladders. Gotta use what we have. Okay, so we're grabbing supplies to go to the ocean to look for amethyst. It's a plan. Well, I did get lost and I have not seen this ocean before, so that's kind of interesting. Let's see, where are we? Oh, is this a giant ravine? This is kind of fun. Oh, it goes down really far. Wow, I can barely see anything. Oh, I need my door. Okay, this is kind of unhelpful because I can't see. Oh wait, it'd help if I actually put my respiration helmet on. There we go. Although I still think it's too deep. I really can't see. Okay, I think we'll just go up further and we'll see if we can find anything. You know, I'm starting to think I overestimated my ability to see in the dark. We can at least get some kelp while we're here. Next, I found this village which had so many giant water caves below it. But still no luck. We'll check the village for loot though. What's in here? Oh, emeralds. Oh, is this like a blacksmith? Sometimes I have good stuff. Oh, yes please. And I'm gonna take your job block. Sorry. Okay, I think that's pretty much the village. And not to get sidetracked again, but I can see a shipwreck. Yes, we're going over there. Okay, what have we got? Uh, not a lot in here. We'll try this side. Chest. Ooh, treasure. No map though. Okay, well, let's keep going. One eternity later. So it's been a really, really long time. We found a bunch of shipwrecks and it was really hard to find a geode, but we've done it. There's one in a kind of pokey little hole down here. Somewhere in here. Wait, where is it? Oh, here, it's here. Look, oh, ow. Got a bit excited there. But look, geode! Geode hype! I'm gonna have to dump some stuff just to pick them up. Okay, let's grab some of this and then go home. Okay, we had to wait for some crystals to regrow, but I think we have enough now. Turn to glass. We also got kelp, so now we can make a bubble elevator. It was just a little bit too slow going up the ladder. So maybe we go here. And just like before, we dig all the way down. And then from the top, we're going to place our bucket of water and then we'll go down again. 
I'm kind of doing this a funny way because it's a long drop and I don't want to drown. Oh, okay, so we've got the water. Wait, I thought the water wouldn't fill both sides. Do I have to break this? Dang it, maybe I am going to drown. Oh, we're nearly there. Yes. <gasps> Just made it. And then I have to fill this side with blocks and break the kelp. And soul sand. I think we did it. So we've got up and down. Now I want to make it look cute in here and we're going to make the actual mob farm. I think we'll keep some of it deep slate since it's already there. But I want to add dark oak logs. Well, we're about halfway with the decorating. I think I want quartz for the floor. But we don't have any, so for now I think I'm going to switch to finishing the actual farm. So we need a hopper going into a chest. There we go. And then a slab here to make sure the skellies can't see us. Then we'll pop in the windows. And then in the spawner room we can use water to make sure they all flow into the right place. So one here and here. And then we remove this part of the floor. Plus an extra block. And then I think lastly we just need a sign. Okay, this should work. Okay, ah! They're spawning straight away. No, no, no. I think they started killing each other. Oh, there's one there. Oh, I need to make a sword. Yeah, I'm definitely going on a sword. And the drops are all in here. Oh, look at it. It's so good. Oh, and we can watch them. Oh, look at that. So cool. Okay, I'm going to work on getting some XP. And also, I think I'll dig out this little area. We're kind of on diamond level, so I thought this is probably the quickest way to get there. We can make a little staircase. Well, we're level 31 and I've been doing some re-rolling at the enchanting setup. So, we finally have fortune! I've been waiting for this. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> didn't give us anything else. I think what we'll do is when these two get a bit lower, we can merge them together. But we've got some diamond ore in our storage, so I want to go get that in fortune. It is in here. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, we've got seven. I'm hoping for like... Maybe over 15. And we got, oh, we got 21. Oh, it's night. I need to sleep. 21 diamonds is a good diamond day. And I think we have two more. Yes, we do. So I am going to make another axe because this one's running out. So hopefully we can get unbreaking and then put them together. Let's do that first. Please, 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 please. Efficiency, unbreaking two. Uh... Oh, I'm also going to want a good sword to kill the zombies. There we go. And I don't like these enchantments. Okay, I'm going to go get a couple more levels and then re-roll. Also, we're going to have to do something about this. Like, we need a cute build. We can't just have holes. And I haven't even got the quartz yet. Okay, there's a lot to do. So here I am leveling up. And here I am collecting quartz. And here I am finishing the room. Ta-da! We decorated and we've had a tools upgrade. So I was kind of going for like a dark, moist, mushroomy cave. So we've got a lot of fungus growing and we've got these little pots too. And of course there's also little crystals growing. It's a little bit fantasy vibes and we've got this area going down to a diamond mine. Oh my gosh, these noises are so annoying. Also, oh look at that, you can see them coming in. Anyway, as well as all of that, I managed to upgrade the tools. So I did merge our picks together and we've got two axes now. So I'll probably merge them soon. It'll be efficiency, silk touch, unbreaking. Oh, and our sword, unbreaking sharpness knockback. Ended up getting lucky with that one. But now that our dark little mushroom cave is done, we need to sort out the top. I think we'll make an entrance building so that the holes are both inside. And we'll make it a little bit skeleton themed. I have an idea. We just need supplies. And fortunately, I think I have bone blocks. Oh, yes, I do. The only other supply we might not have enough of is regular oak wood, so we're going to gather some of that. Alright, I've got my friends with me, let's try and make a build. So we'll go one, two, three, and then here I want to do a four wide staircase, and then we go, oh, this is close, hold on. Um, actually, no, that should be okay. One, two, three. And we'll replace this bottom level with cobble, like a foundation. Also, these will all be stripped. Okay, so I want to create kind of an entranceway here. 
So maybe we go something like this and then same on this side. And then stairs. I might edit the land a little bit. Then I want to kind of build up an archway for where the door will go. So we'll use stairs like this. And oh, we're going to need a slab. Okay, this is good. And then this will go like here. I like that shape so far. It's cute. There's not going to be a lot of walls to it, but there'll be a lot of roof. And speaking of roof, let's sort out the shape. Okay, so the roof is outlined and I added this little tower shape off to the side so this can go all the way up. And I think it'll just add a bit of extra interest because otherwise this is pretty simple. But I want to fill in the roof next and both of our roofs so far have been mangrove wood. Which I love but it's such a pain together. So we're still going to use it but I want to try it in a gradient. So we have red concrete, red terracotta, mushroom and mangrove. I think this is going to be cute. So we've got mushroom and then we'll go red terracotta and red concrete and then stripped mangrove and then mangrove planks. Next we build up the tower and then finally we're going to add some details including a bit of a skeleton touch. expecting a building reveal. We're nearly done but we're at spawn. Let's get this messed up tree from episode one. We're here because I really wanted an acacia door for my building. So can we get any saplings please? I've been meaning to come to spawn for a while because I want to make a nether portal. I'm hoping this will mean fast travel between here and home. Okay hopefully the spawn is okay. Uh yep nether waste. As expected. Ooh, there's a crimson forest over there. I haven't seen that yet. But I think we're basically going east about 200 blocks and then we'll be home. It looks like it might be a pretty easy path. Hey, wait, this is my cobble. Okay, I know this area. No problem. That was so quick. Home time. And it's finally done. I don't think I've ever put in so much effort for an XP farm. But this is what it's looking like. I kind of wanted this to look like a silo. So it's full of storage and of course we've got the big bone. I wasn't sure what to do with the inside but I gave it a little counter like a shop or a service. And then this is the little storage silo and we've got the lifts. Down into here. My big issue with this area now is that we've got this pretty build in amongst all of this. I think maybe we'll work on this next time. We'll make the scuffed lands not scuffed. But I think that'll be all for today. If you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!